Hey everyone, Notorious Squirrel here, your Notorious SQL, and today I'm wanting to do a short video on the installation of the firmware and how you get going with the USB Army Knife, which is done by I Am Shodan. If you've not seen this project before, it's an awesome project where you've got a USB Army Knife. It's an ultable, it's the ultimate close access tool for penetration testers and red teamers, reading it straight off the project GitHub. So, this thing, if the focus will work, is your LilyGo t dongle it's a usb 32s stay in focus s2 chip it looks just like a usb a little bit of a gucci posh usb don't get me wrong um, and then it's got this sort of button at the back as well this button does multiple things it, it acts as your boot button but it also um, can deliver sort of key features within the i am showdown usb army knife as well so that will actually trigger payloads and trigger certain things as well it also has a little um, GPIO um, plug in there but not for anything that I'm about to show today so yeah without further ado let's, uh, let's have a go so now we're on the laptop this is the I am showed an USB army knife GitHub, if you just search into here, if you just search in Google USB Army Knife, this will come up, um, but I'll leave a link in the description below, so it'll bring you straight here. Um, as you go here, as you can see what we've before, the USB Army Knife is the ultimate close access tool for penetration and testers and red seamers. It's a really cool project, it does loads of cool stuff. Obviously, the, the weapon of choice is the Lilygo T dongle, which is a really cool device for not just this project, but tons of other projects as well it works really well with there's a nice intro there's a nice little write-up in there saying what the um the author um was wanting to achieve with this project a few nice little videos what makes this project really good as well is some cool videos and intros and tutorials along this as well which really helps sort of help get it set up as well um show you how to just copy scripts copy onto the, the usb and the sd card once you've got going and um, this is sort of comes down to your, your main description examples of what you're going to get out of this so uh, covert storage so what you'll get is if you plug it in the first time it just acts as a storage device then you do a second time and it'll deliver your payloads and um, progress bar with the actual led screen and visuals you can do some really cool little staged payloads where you'll get certain images once your payload is at a certain stage and ultimate rickroll this is the best rickroll i've ever seen and if you've seen one of my recent shorts you get a png little um, clips that that cycle through and give you the Rick Astley sort of dance moves. USB Ethernet PCAP, um, deploy serial agent. The serial agent's really cool as well. Pull the screen so you can actually remotely view over Wi Fi um, your um, attack surfaces screen. Um, simple UI so you interface via the button. Um, so you get a hot mic as well um, so you can literally record um, sound over Wi-Fi, instantly crash Linux boxes, um, so you can basically do sort of like a bad apple, sour apple attack on uh, Linux boxes, um, evil USB, um, and then different sort of keyboard layouts it adapts to as well. So it goes through as well some different hardware you can use it on, the T dongle S3, evil crew cable, the T-Watch, which I'd like to have a go at that as well, I'm going to do that at some point, I might do a video on that. Wave share the Atom S3 U, which is this thing. And um, if you've not got, oh well, you can't see that, but I was holding one of them like an idiot, but they're really cool. Um, and they're various other different devices to deploy this on as well, um, giving some usage and, and all the rest of it. So, yeah, really, really good project. Um, so, what we want to do though is flash the bad boy. So, what you want to do first of all to get all the stuff that you need come to the releases here and then you can see there's a latest 17th september click on this come down to whatever you want to go on the top one so here's your latest the v112 come down to whichever zip is you show generic s2 boards see this is the one i want the lily go and we've got agent binaries as well and that's for your agent when you want to apply that wave share and all the rest of it obviously i'm doing the t dongle so we just click the t dongle that will automatically go in there i have already downloaded this previously so i won't have to unzip but wherever you put it into uh, just make sure you unzip that file and you'll be able to get all your main bits that you need and um, once we've done that you head over to the wiki which is along this top bar here head down to installation um, and then here starts the this 
I don't understand this bit flashing with the Visual Studio code. Pfft, that's out of my ballpark. If you carry on going down, you will get to flashing with the web browser. And this is my favorite and by far the easiest one. What you also will need to do is, if I'm not going past it, is, oh yeah, the bin files. So first of all, you visit the page there. It tells you, and it takes you to this, but that basically you go to the the file that we've just downloaded that I've just shown in the latest releases. You download your bin file as well. Um, and that's here when you're downloading this um, boot.app.o bin file, make sure you download this raw file here, which is this, this emblem here. Don't try and copy anything or do anything weird. Just come straight over to this download, download the raw file, and then you're away. Drop back, and then we're going to be using the HUN, um, ESP HUN, um, HUN, dot me there um, and then just take a note of these partitions here because we're going to be referring back to these so your 8000 your partition boot ap 10 firmware 10,000 and then the bootloader bin is there and then you'll flash that and then once you flash that you you're away to go and drop some stuff in what i will do first of all is i will fat 32 my um usb so let's just go back to the camera for a minute this was the uh the s the RMS 3U, which is a really cool device as well, but that's not what we're going to be using today. So here's this. With these, these do come with like a little infill, but your your uh, memory card wants to be placed and also pulled out of this little bit here. So this gap in between the blue filament and the back there, that's where your memory card drops into. So just be aware of that. So I'm going to format this and put it into my chat, my reader. Put it into machine and then I always like to have to use a Raspberry Pi um, imager to do this. Simple enough, just click no fill, click erase fat 32, click storage device, make sure you do the right one and don't wipe your own laptop. Sounds sounds hard to do, but I've done it. And then let that do, and then there you go, that's how quick it does it. Ah, sorry, refreshment break. So now that we're into this, I've erased that, so we can pull this out, can get rid of that. We can put our memory card, and obviously when you put your memory card in, it's the, the copper contacts downwards, sort of facing towards that, um, and then you're away. What you want to do is when you plug in this in as well, make sure you depress this button and make contacts, because that's going to engage your boot. Let's just get rid of this, let's get ourselves into the actual flasher and we're away so now we've done that i'll jump back onto the laptop and we can run through the flashing process so as you can see we're now back on the laptop and um we want to connect the device so we'll click connect because we've put it into boot mode it'll come up nicely it will say connecting nicely and obviously as you can see this is from my last use here it's remembered me because i've still been using it so when you're wanting to do this just go into wherever your downloads are I'll just quickly jump into here i've got some firmwares in here i'm going to go into usb master not that one firmware values here we go and then we we drag and drop these into where we want them and then don't forget that boot.ap as well, wherever that is, and we drop that in. And that's just a simple bit of just adding and then dropping in. Drop it in in this order and in this. What I'll do is I'll just put a little uh, caption in the bottom of the screen so you can see what you're doing with these step by step as we're talking through this. Once you've got these in this order, it's just a matter of program. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. Sorry, hope you can hear my voice. Just started chucking it down here. And as you can see there, we've got percentage flashing. Once that's completed, we will be ready to go. And then I'll just show you how to do the quick um, example of the ultimate rip roll. And again, it's really simple. You just literally drag and drop files into the um, into the area you need to, and you're away. To run for me, please reset your device. That's how simple it is. It's not hard. Just make sure you get these orientations correct. Um, and away you are, stick a link. Um, to all of this as well so once you've done that 
you want to pull out the device and you want the memory card out when you're doing stuff you need to have the memory card out of the device um, to initiate um, changes so let's jump back onto the camera and we'll do that so excuse the rain i'm sorry it's just started chucking it down so now we're done on here get our memory card out get that in our slot get that back in our machine and we will drop all this out we don't need this anymore we will drop into our where we are our device And we should be able to then go into downloads, go into firmware, go into USB master, go into examples. Maybe can, can you see this okay? Sorry if you just missed that. Examples, and then we go down to Rickroll, and then it is just a matter of dropping PNGs into our storage area drop the auto run there's also a readme in all those example files as well and um, so it'll show you and tell you how to do it let's just check that's in now we know that's in let's come out and i will get a microsoft machine and because this is linux box it won't work properly so i'll get a microsoft machine out and we can run this rickroll see what it does so here we are i've got the um a uh, little uh, Microsoft box here now up and running. If I just bang this in, you'll see that it powers up. Nice little green light comes on. Our text box comes on and starts running. And then it drops. As you can see here, you can see Rick Astley bopping away. And voila, we have the man himself. Obviously, with this machine, I have auto play on it. And there we go. Full. full rick roll there it is that's how simple it is to start using the usb army knife i hope you've enjoyed that video i hope it was pretty straightforward let me know in the comments what you think any areas that i could have improved on or any parts of this device that you want to see more on i'm going to start doing some of the more videos on some of the other features as well so uh, please let me know which ones of those features you'd like to see first and i'll uh, get those videos prioritized thanks a lot everyone like and subscribe thank you